Hey guys, it's Dean. Welcome to Manful Yoga. Today I'm going to be talking about flat feet and what you can do about them. So a lot of the messages that I've been receiving and emails that I've been receiving lately have had to do with flat feet. And probably a few months ago, I made a video called Fixing Flat Feet, which shows you the exercise that I use to cure my own flat feet. But I want to talk a little bit about m a little bit more about flat feet and you know how they occur and and what results because of them and how your performance is hindered. So flat feet, it can either be genetic or it can be a result of your environment. And in this sense, it would be, um, it would be determined by what shoes you wear or you know, how you're walking during the day. So most of, us, um, most of us don't really spend too much time focusing on how we walk. And as a result, we can develop poor movement patterns, and that can lead to having flat feet, among many other things. But I'm mentioning this because if you don't have the proper movement patterns in your feet, then that can lead to ankle instability, it can lead to weakness in your ankles, it can lead to knee instability, which can all lead to injury and just general suckiness. So how to fix flat feet? The first step is to work on strengthening the ankles themselves. So people with flat feet, you'll notice that their feet cave in like this, right? So their ankles kind of come in toward the middle. So the first exercise, and this is the video that I, I made is by flexing flat feet, is to work on this exercise called a short foot exercise. So you're squeezing your toes in toward your heels like so and trying to lift the arch of your foot. So I'm not scrunching my toes up like this, I'm actually just squeezing my toes in, making my foot shorter, hence the term short foot exercise, and engaging these muscles around the ankles. So personally, I know this helps me because before I started doing these exercises, I would get shin splints a lot when I was playing lacrosse. And it usually got to the point by the end of the season that I wasn't practicing. I was just, I would show up to practice, I would throw around a little bit, but I couldn't actually get out and run because the pain, the discomfort would be just too much. So I would go out and I'd play games, but as far as being able to practice, I couldn't because my shin splints hurt too much. And through my own self-research, I eventually realized that it wasn't because of calf weakness. Calf weakness was an indirect result of, uh, of the flat feet. But the real reason why I was getting shin splints and ankle weakness in general was because of my flat feet. and. I had always thought, well, I have flat feet or my ankles hurt, so I need to get shoes with support, right? I need to get shoes that help to reinforce that arch. But that's a crutch. That only, that only, that only prevents your feet from strengthening the way that they should be strengthening or getting um, or developing the natural support that they should have. So when I put on a shoe that has a, an, a, a, an insole or that has something that artificially raises my arch, that replaces the muscle with an external support. So in order to, to effectively address that issue, I need to remove that support and develop the strength myself in the intrinsic strength of my ankles. So one thing I did was I switched from shoes with a big sole that lifted my arch about a foot off the ground to minimalist shoes. So and I had to do it gradually at first, but now the shoes that I have, right? See how these have no support. They're just, I mean, they're like, they're millimeters thick, but they force my ankle to engage. They force my foot to get stronger. And these are great because they keep your feet, they keep your movement honest. If you walk with these and your feet hurt, that means you're walking incorrectly. However, if you walk and you're lifting the arch of your foot, and you're striking evenly, you're coming off the top of your toes and walking forward, your feet aren't going to hurt. So it helps keep your feet honest. Now you do have to build up to using that. You can't just go cold turkey from having two inch arch support to having no support. So there has to be you know, a gradual period of, of uh, where you combine the short foot exercise with general ankle mobility. So you know all the stuff that we do in yoga, like like a warrior two, right? This is working on ankle mobility. A warrior one, working on ankle mobility. Um, working on exercises like lifts, like this, right? Like toe lifts and calf raises, or even single foot calf raises. Um, 
So there has to be a gradual period where you're combining those exercises with a, uh, a smaller arch over time. So I didn't go straight to the shoe. I started off with a shoe that had a little bit of an arch, but not much. And then over time, after a couple months of doing this exercise, these exercises, and after, um, and after walking with those other shoes and getting used to the impact on my feet, then I was able to switch to more minimal shoes over time. But again, it's a combination of switching your shoes to not relying on that external support of the arch, um, using ankle mobility exercises. And of course, the big one that I mentioned is that short foot exercise, working on squeezing your toes toward your heels and just slowly walking forward and really working on that slow controlled movement, being able to keep your foot in that short foot exercise even when you come up onto one foot and then being able to translate that into all of your other movements. So when I do an airplane, right? When I do an airplane, I'm coming up and I'm keeping my foot short-footed. Or when I do a squat, I'm able to keep my arches lifted instead of allowing my feet to collapse. So that's the answer. How long will it take? You'll probably have to do this for a month or two months before you start to notice differences. And it's constant engagement. It's constant mindfulness and paying attention. Um, to that ankle engagement and to the lifting of the arches. But if you do that exercise on a regular basis, let's say you spend 15 minutes on it three times a week, that's a solid amount of time, you'll be sore. I mean, this is a difficult exercise, especially if you're spending a total of 15 minutes on it. That's a lot of time. Um, but again, over time, it will help. It can, I mean, it will reverse flat feet. Flat feet. So I used to have flat feet and you know, if I'm walking mindlessly, so if I'm walking and I'm not really paying attention to what I'm doing and I really force the foot to collapse in, I have poor arches. But for the most part, I've trained myself now to the point that I can walk around and I don't really have to focus on it. And my ankles are where they need to be. My arches are lifted. I can walk with minimalist shoes without having pain in my feet. And I can run without having shin splints, which is awesome. Um, a couple weeks ago, I had a uh, lacrosse game and it was the first lacrosse game I've ever had where the day afterwards I didn't feel that shin splints feeling in my lower body, in my legs. So anyways, I just wanted to make this video to explain a little bit more about flat feet since this is a topic that got a lot of attention in some of my other videos. And I wanted to show you that exercise, that short foot exercise, right? That. Um, but really what's really going to reverse that is doing those exercises over time, working on ankle mobility, working on, you know, working on applying that short foot exercise, that proper arch engagement to all the other exercises. And that's where yoga comes in. So if you want to get access to all my workouts and, and see what those look like, you can get uh, immediate access, unlimited access, all the workouts, workout programs for just $1. That's a seven day trial at manfullyoga.com slash seven dash days. Now, if you're watching this and you're not already subscribed and you want to keep learning more, I put out videos like this very often and we just got our new office with all of this, with lights and, you know, our wall and mats and everything. So we'll be putting out more video content. Uh, make sure you subscribe and we'll keep on putting out information and inspiration to get you going on your fitness journey and show you how yoga can help. Um, subscribe, like on Facebook, uh, subscribe to my email list, manfulyoga.com slash sign dash up. And I look forward to seeing you on other videos. Take care.